Okay. Why is it shooters? Let's get practical without prepping. Right? Yes. Okay. She agree. What's going on, Wise Shifters? As you can tell, that I am out having you no know, good time with my family. And then you can see my daughter, she's she's a special one, very dear to my heart. Um, I want to start this video by saying, um, let's get practical because a lot of my favorite channels that I'm subscribed to, and also those who are around me, we face with the understanding of okay how can I prepare for a potential calamity and disasters and we often go into this imagination imaginated uh, world that we you know picture in our mind and think of but in reality we have to be practical and really go to the extent and put in practice what we think could happen because if you think it it could possibly happen so prepping for calamity is by actually uh, practicing what you think could happen um, I recently recovered from two hurricane that recently hit us here in Florida um, well hurricane Helen however you pronounce her name you know passed through you know the upper the northern part of Florida but hurricane Milton really took a toll especially the central Florida area um, we're straight through Florida those who know and follow the storm you know what I'm talking about um, but one thing that I realized now that I am in the stage of topping off my prep and replenishing from the things that we did use which was not much because we were in an area where it didn't impact us as much versus those who are who, who are at the um, coast of Tampa you know Florida which is Tampa Florida um, they really you know, experienced the surge and the flooding and uh, loss of power and everything like that. I did lose power, but not for long. But one thing that I did realize is that being practical, my family was not fully ready. Um, being someone who's extreme when it comes to prepping, I try not to put too much on them that they, you know, uh, that they can't bear it and be turned off from the idea of prepping, being a prepper family. But one thing about being practical is um, really showing them, okay, this could happen and it will happen and we must be prepared for it. So best example I can give you is now that I am planning to really having the power off for one, starting with one day, then two days and three days and see how long, you know, um, as a group, the family can really deal without power. You know, I myself have done this in many occasions and I'm okay, but when you have a family, you have to consider those who you care for, you have to really make them resilient, give them the idea and understand, okay, how far can I take it? How far can I, you know, I, I really can apply this practice and, and, and really help them be ready. And the next thing I really wanted to share with you guys is that most, the most important part about being a practical prepper is um, developing your skills. So not just storing food and learning how to store water and purify water and also um, obtaining new gears and everything like the next big shiny toys out there for us preppers we must go beyond that and I know there's a lot of people who who um, hone their, their skills by doing bushcrafting and another method of uh, being you know having a homestead or being self-sufficient but the key is to overall learn how to fix certain things or how to build certain things that goes a long way because that, that those are the things that that can't be taken away by a natural disaster because I witness people who lose their food stores that they have um, in their home where their homes were flooded and I've seen footage and videos
video of you know people that I know too also that they lost their home and they can't recover from that and those who bugged out and left um, certain area that you know um, due to the hurricane some when they come back some of that is gone so understanding how to really um, put your skills to work and of course honing in um, learning and sharpening your skill goes a long way so that's the first thing about practical prepping is having skills skills are number one and if I had to um, put number two number two would be for me if I had to put it in a list would be um, being being someone who practices like I opened up about you know uh, having my family and in, in, in certain situations so they can be ready for, for the real uh, situation when calamity strikes and such um, practicing goes a long way um, a lot of people here on YouTube and you know social media platform they're faking um, some of the prepping lifestyle some of them are in it to make money and some of them are just like the idea or fantasizing about a doomsday apocalyptic end of the world situation but for me and others who are watching like you and I we we tend to be on the logical part of it which is the practical part of it and understanding that prepping is a lifestyle and it's a everyday scenario um, I often say this on the channel is that whether you claim to be a prepper or not, you are a prepper by nature because um, as long as you're someone who's not lazy, because you get up every day, you plan to go to work, you get up, you plan such situ certain situ situations and activity, that's that's prepping. And even you just going somewhere and driving somewhere, that's prepping because you plan to get somewhere and you looked at the you looked at the route that you're going to take and you made the preparation, the necessary preparation. Um, I don't want to drag this, but I just want to just pop in and really say we have to get practical and go beyond just by storing food and uh, getting equipment and, and just doing the average things. And if that's mean going out and go out and camp and understanding, okay, what does it take for you to be ready, do it. And one of the things that my wife brought up was um, uh, bug out bags. Um, I've been, I'm in process of building a few bug out bags, but my goal is to create the foundation of a bug out bag, food, water, and some sort of shelter plus protection. Um, and then the rest will be up to you in regard to what fits you best. Because I see a lot of bug out bags online for sale, but we miss out on the opportunity to customize it to who you are and to to different individual and also location makes a huge difference so um, that's something that I'm, I'm working on be on the lookout for that it's taking me you know I'm, I'm what going on three years now on this project I'm putting this bug out bag together for sale for those who you know who are interested because I have people who want to start you know prepping and want to have a bug out bag but they don't have the time to put it together so be on the lookout for that another thing to um, when it comes to practicality is making sure that you have everything in place for yourself because we tend to just go beyond um, the principle of understanding how how to make prepping your lifestyle and if you're watching this, I want you to really get practical. Go beyond just the average, everyday prepping. Um, really put into practice what you think could happen and what will happen and really and, and really apply yourself. Um, I'm gonna leave you with this. Uh, go out there, practice your prep, do better, um, and replenish. And actually use your, your food, replenish it, rotate your food. Uh, whatever you recently buy, if you're watching this video, Go outside, practice with it. If it's a new, if it's a new uh, bag, go go use it. If it's a flashlight, find an alternative ways to you know to power it. And right now, I'm looking at you know power 
is something that I'm focused on right now. I ordered my EcoFlow River 3. I'll be making a video about that pretty soon, so be on the lookout for that. But um, just know that, be practical. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like this video, share with someone you love, and thank you. And uh, all the new subscribers who are here, thank you for, for being on this journey with me. As I learn, I'll share. And on the, in the comment below, let's talk. And I, I will respond and I will do what I can and, and interact with you guys and engage. And I really appreciate all the time um, you guys invest in just watching these videos. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Remember, stay wise and stay shifted. All right, wise, wise and shifters, see you guys next time.